Hey, let's face it, home sellers have had it easy for quite some time and the conversation around how to properly price your home really hasn't carried much weight because it's just been such a great seller's market and they've been able to just put their home up on the market almost regardless of the price without very much consequence. Well, now that has changed and the consequences are greater than ever when it comes to properly pricing your home or improperly pricing your home. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the three outcomes that could occur depending on which strategy you use to price your home. Now, for more context and to help you get through really where we are in the market and understand fully, I'm gonna to explain to you what things would have looked like if you priced your home incorrectly just a few months ago. So if you priced your home too high, buyers were still out there because we had so much demand in the market that they'd still probably take a look at it. They might him and haw a little bit. They definitely don't want to pay over asking price because that's way too high, but they might still throw an offer out there or at very least you'd still have some attention. And because there was so much demand, if you did reduce your price eventually into that sweet spot, buyers would go after it. If you priced your home too low, realistically, we had so much buyer demand that it would get driven up and ultimately you'd still get above that asking price. The only danger in pricing it too low is you might not hit the number that you're really looking for. For example, if your home was worth 700,000 and you priced it at 550,000, well, someone might not drive the price all the way back up to 700,000, right? There is such thing as pricing it too low, people might reject it, what's wrong with it, etc. If you price it just right, that was kind of the sweet spot. In fact, most of the time we were pricing it just right, which is basically looking at what's sold, what's pending, what's active, how is it in line with the trend and just right in most occasions meant one to two percent over the more recent sale within the last one or two months so that is what happened in the past and that was the outcome that you could expect depending on how you priced your home this is why it's so critical to price your home correctly now if you price your home too high we don't have enough buyer demand out there to overcome that initial loss and hit that you'll experience when you first put your home on the market, when your home has all the attention in that very first week, because there's still not a whole lot of new listings hitting the market. Your home will still get online attention from buyers that are shopping, but buyers are rate sensitive right now. We're mortgage payment sensitive right now. We're not going after homes that are grossly overpriced. We're looking for the opportunity and we're looking for ways to save some money. Overpriced home is gonna get completely rejected and the impact of that means you're gonna sit on the market and you're gonna to continue to have to reduce your price until it finally gets the attention of a home buyer. If you price your home too low, it's interesting because I would actually recommend pricing your home slightly below where market value is, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But if you price your home too low, keep in mind that because people are expecting a good opportunity, a deal right now, if you price your home too low, you might not get the number that you were ultimately after. Buyers aren't spending hundreds of thousands of dollars over their asking price. They're not spending even 50 or $60,000 over their asking price. But you can still get away with maybe getting 10 to $20,000 over your asking price. So if you price it low enough, that might not be a bad strategy. And if you price it just right, well then you'll get what you're asking for. Now, here's the key to pricing it just right. And I can go into a whole nother video on this, but you have to take into consideration where the trend is in the market. Pricing your home based on the one that sold just a month ago is likely not pricing it right. You have to take into consideration where the trend is and currently we're seeing a downward trend in the market. You also have to take into consideration where the mortgage rate is and currently we're seeing an upward tick in mortgage interest rates, which means a more expensive mortgage, which means ultimately pressure on your price. I'll get in later into a video on how to go about correctly pricing your home, but for this sake of this video, now you understand the impact that pricing has on your home in this market and why it's so, so critical to get it right. Hey, I'm Jeff Goolsby. Thanks for watching. And for more videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment below. Let me know if you have some questions because I want to address them for you. I want to help people win in real estate.